In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a workflow for creating a transition between two template drops in a corridor using OpenRoads technology. If we take a look at this corridor by going to Corridor Objects, you can see that I have placed two templates in this corridor, a two-lane rule template and a four-lane rule template. And we can go in and take a, just take a look at those templates. Uh, and you can see here, uh, this would be my two-lane template. And this would be the four-lane template. And you can see here that I have placed these and I've left a gap in between the two placements and that's where I want to create my transition. So I'll go over to the Civil Tools task menu and under Corridor Modeling, I want to select Create Transition. After I select that tool, I'm prompted to locate the first template drop. So I'll go in and select the handler for that first template drop. I'm then prompted to locate my second template drop. And as soon as I select that, the corridor reprocesses. And you can see here that that gap is filled in. Now it's close, but it's not quite exactly the way that I need it to be. You can see here that the lanes begin abruptly at the start of the second template drop. So what we want to do is go into Edit Transition. I'm prompted to locate my transition, so I will select the transition. And that brings me up to the Edit Transition dialog. So what this shows, this first section here is the two lane highway. The second is going to be the four lane roadway. And you can see that the two lanes here and then you have the two lanes here and the two on the other side. So all of these points here are mapped. These lines represent the way that this is going to transition. And you can see that all these are connected. And these points have been automatically connected because the point name here, write EOP, matches the point name here right EOP. So En-ROADS automatically knows that you want these points to be connected. The four points here in bold are not connected and that's simply because they do not exist in this other template. So you have to manually go in and map these. So you have some decisions to make here. Do you want your lane to begin to widen from the center line or from the edge of pavement? So in most cases, you're going to want that from edge of, from the edge of pavement. You want the lane to start developing here and transition into a four lane. So it's real simple to map these points. You're just going to click on one of the bold points and bring the line back to match up to the point that you want it to transition from. And we'll do the same thing with the bottom here. We're just going to connect that to the bottom. Now we'll do the identical thing on the other side, mapping these points in the way that they need to transition. And you can right click on any point in here and select move template. And that allows you to move the template around and get a better view of exactly how your template's going to transition. Once you have all this taken care of here, you'll simply click OK. And you'll get this reminder message which says, in order for the transition to work properly, the appropriate constraints on points that are transitioning must be removed. So we'll select OK. And we'll talk about that in the next dialog box. So here you have a representation of the cross section of how this roadway is going to transition. And you have this slider down on the bottom left hand corner so you can take it back to the start and move your way through the entire length of the transition. So you can see here when we move back and forth nothing really is happening and that's because we need to, as the message told us, delete constraints on points. So what is it up here that we want to transition? Well it's going to be this outside line. So it's this point that we want to slide back and forth in the transition. So if we go in and right click and delete both constraints, you can see now as we move through the transition that we're creating that outside lane. 
And we'll just simply do the same thing on the other side. Delete both constraints. And now you can see that our template is properly transitioning. Once you're satisfied the, with the results here, you can click OK. And you can see that the corridor will process. And if we take a look here in 3D view, you can clearly see how the roadway is transitioning from here to here, from the two lane into the four lane.